und aus. The impact of manipulation on fascia. Wow. <laughs> Introduction. Fascia forms a continuous adaptable network throughout the human body, capable of adjusting its consistency and elasticity in response to tension. Finley et al. 2012. Numerous manual therapy techniques have been developed specifically to target fascia for therapeutic outcomes. While these methods vary considerably, yes! they are generally grouped into two broad categories. Myofascial release techniques, such as soft tissue therapy, and manipulative interventions, like high-velocity, low-amplitude thrust techniques, Simmons-Miller and Gemmel, 2012. These approaches are employed to address a wide spectrum of conditions, including musculoskeletal and visceral disorders, such as sprains, tendinitis, neuropathies, neck pain syndromes, digestive disturbances, abdominal discomfort, menstrual pain, and irritable bowel syndrome, Stecco and Stecco, 2010. Despite the ongoing research and a growing body of positive clinical findings, Pedrelli, Stecco, and Day, 2009, Day, Stecco, and Stecco, 2009, Oleana, 2011, Harper, Steinbeck, and Aaron, 2016, the precise mechanisms through which these therapies affect the fascia remain not fully understood. Oh. Although wow. various practitioners claim to alter fascia's density, tone, viscosity, or structural arrangement slips. through manual interventions, oh. Cantu and Grodin, 1992, oh. Ward, 1993, oh. Paoletti, 2002, these assertions are mostly grounded in the theory that fascia adapts to mechanical loading. Given the absence of robust, scientifically supported theories, this chapter seeks to examine current hypotheses surrounding the effects of manual manipulation on fascia. It also explores the complex nature of fascia and its interconnected role within the human body. Understanding Fascia Fascia constitutes the most widespread form of white fibrous tissue within the human body, lying directly beneath the skin. It creates an uninterrupted, three-dimensional connective tissue network that envelops, supports, and separates internal structures, O'Connell, 2003. This extensive fascial web spans the body as a supportive membrane, linking all tissues, from muscles and bones, to nerves, blood vessels, and internal organs. Thomas and Robert, 2009. Fascia plays a vital role in maintaining physiological function by supporting the body's metabolically active systems and specialized cellular structures. McGetchy, 2010. It enables communication, coordination, and continuity across bodily systems. Langevin, 2006. Furthermore, the fascia contributes to biomechanical integrity by responding to physical stress, aiding posture, and supporting oh. movement. O'Connell, oh, wow. right. Stecco and Stecco, 2010. Ooh. Overall, fascia is essential for functions such as stabilizing joints, enabling smooth movement, <laughs> and tissue repair, offering immune protection, and supporting hemodynamic and biochemical processes. Lamoon, 2008. Fascia is typically categorized into three layers, superficial, deep, muscular, and subserous, visceral. How manipulative therapies affect fascia? Mechanical impacts. It has long been theorized that manual manipulations can exert mechanical effects on fascia. Paoletti, 2002, Ward, 1993, Cantu and Grodin, 1992. These interventions are believed to enhance physical balance, mobility, and posture by influencing fascia's mechanical characteristics, <laughs> namely its density, tone, arrangement, and viscosity. Smith, 2005, Stambora, 2004, Delagrat et al., 2008. Most of these theories that fascia responds and adapts to external physical pressures and plays a key role in transmitting force across muscle systems. Huijing, 2009. Inflammatory responses or prolonged poor posture can cause fascia to tighten or lose elasticity, limiting its ability to move freely. When fascia becomes overly tight or shortened, it may transmit stress to distant, sensitive regions of the body, such as nerve structures or vascular pathways, causing pain, Finley et al., 2012. Practitioners of osteopathy and other manual therapies suggest that these restrictions can be alleviated through specific manipulation techniques, which relieve pressure and restore proper circulation. Walton, 2008, Finley et al., 2012. Many clinicians also report experiencing a tangible release within fascial tissues when treating dense or restricted areas through soft tissue manipulation. Juhan, 1987, Ward, 1993, Stecco, 2004. 
These releases are thought to correspond with physical changes like the breaking of fascial crosslinks, oh. shifts in extracellular matrix viscosity, from a gel to a soul state, and other passive viscoelastic adjustments. Stanborough, 2004, Juhan, 1987, Stecco, 2004. <laughs> However, this tactile feedback oh. of fascial release remains controversial. There is ongoing debate over whether the mechanical pressure and duration of most manipulative techniques are truly sufficient to provoke such physiological changes. While certain researchers, Sutcher et al., 2005, Stecco, 2004, endorse these mechanisms, others, Threlkeld, 1992, Schleip, 2003b, question their plausibility. A particularly detailed study by Chaudhry et al., 2008, investigated this issue by testing the mechanical behavior of various fascial tissues. They concluded that tissues like the plantar fascia and fascia lata are extremely stiff and require immense force to cause even minimal deformation, as little as 1% in compression or shear. Conversely, softer fascial regions like superficial nasal fascia may deform more readily under strong mechanical loads. Based on their findings, Chaudhry and colleagues argued that the experience of tissue release during manipulation likely stems not from mechanical deformation of dense fascia, but from neural or reflexive changes in soft tissue, or shifts in rotational or tensile forces. In conclusion, the mechanical impact of manual therapies on fascia remains an area ripe for further exploration and empirical study. Piezoelectric mechanisms. Another oh, hypothesis wow. for how manipulation affects fascia involves piezoelectricity, a concept where mechanical stress is converted into electrical energy.